Well guys, I ended up with a lot more free time in October than I ever expected to have. So this is week three of Pin Pintober recap. Um, I did four recipes from Pinterest this week and I must just be really easy to please right now because I liked all of them. Um, I also did one craft project with Alice and then I did a house project. So here you go. Here's a really interesting crock pot recipe for today. Um, this is a Thai coconut curry spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is my favorite squash. And it only takes four hours to cook. You just slice it in half and it is sitting in a can of coconut milk and um, a couple tablespoons of red curry paste that I got from a jar. And then there's a couple of whole garlic cloves in there. It cooks for four hours and then you scoop out the flesh and it becomes like sort of like noodles. Um, and you mix it with the sauce and it sounds super good to me. And you can also save the seeds from your squash to roast, just like pumpkin seeds, so that's what I'm doing. So here is the curry squash, um, like taken out of the rinds and mixed in with the sauce and it smells really good, I've tasted it and I, I really like it. Um, I would definitely do this again. There are my seeds roasted too, how can you go wrong there? I made Mike an early birthday treat a few days early here. These are caramel apple cheesecake bars. Um, feeling kind of pumpkined out, but this is like another nice fall treat. He probably would have preferred something chocolate, but we have a lot of apples right now to use up. So I'm actually a little bit worried about these being too sweet. I'm going to let them cool and try to cut them in squares and give them the taste test. Okay, the bars are all cooled and I cut them up and you can see the three layers there, the cheesecake layer and they are actually totally awesome. They're not too sweet at all. The, um, the cheesecake layer kind of like moderates it. It's not, it's not overwhelming at all. So these are a huge win. I hope Mike likes them. So I lied about being pumpkined out because I woke up this morning wanting pumpkin pancakes. So that's what we've got. These are whole wheat pumpkin pancakes and they're pretty darn good. Alice, you like them? Cool. Well, I want them so fast. <laughs> All right, one more recipe. This is a DIY vegan vegetable broth powder. So basically like a concentrated powder that you can use to make a veggie stock or broth at any time. So sort of like an alternative maybe to bouillon, which is like a concentrated base, you know, the same, the same kind of thing. Frozen veggie broth is something I almost always have on hand because I make it in the crock pot and freeze it. But I'd like to have something like this um, to add to, like when I make rice, just to add more flavor. So this one is really simple. It's basically a spice mix um, and nutritional yeast and sea salt. I modified the recipe a little bit just because I didn't have quite all of the ingredients. So I added a little bit more of things that I liked and left out a couple of things I didn't have. Um, I also used a little bit less salt than they called for because I like to be able to control the, the salt level um, based on you know other stuff in the recipe so basically you just put everything in a blender just as the recipe calls for it and just blend it up and then you store it and I have the ratio for um, how much powder you you know you add to how much water and I'll just keep that in the pantry this is what it looks like after blending um, it is just finer more combined and it takes up less space um, one thing I'll note is that I did not have preserved lemon peel or whatever the recipe called for Instead, I had a fairly dry, fresh lemon, so I just zested it using my microplane grater, and that's what I added. The recipe makes the perfect amount to fit into a pint jar, and I don't think I'm going to have an opportunity this week to make something with this and give you the full review of um, you know, what, what I think of it, but it smells really good. The combination of, of spices and everything really smells good, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. All right, I lied. We did get a chance to try the veggie soup base, or broth, powder, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just made a really simple vegetable and orso soup and used that as sort of the base of it and it has a good umami flavor from the nutritional yeast and Mike loved it. He had seconds. So this is another winner. So I accomplished one house project this week that probably qualifies as crazed pregnant lady nesting type project. Um, early Wednesday morning I got up with the compulsion to repaint on my back door. And I actually did use a pin for this. Um, there is a pin on the right way to paint a paneled door. And I've done a lot of house painting, but I've actually never painted um, you know, interior doors with panels. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. 
So because it is just white, this really isn't going to look like much to you guys, but this is our back door, um, our door to the backyard, and it was just really, really beat up, and it gets, you know, a ton of use, and the previous owners had a dog that had scratched up the area below the handle, um, it was just a mess. The, the kitchen drawers sometimes hit the door if it, you know, if it's open, and so that was, they were all scratched up. It was seriously a mess, so just to have a fresh coat of paint. Oh, it's such a relief to me. Um, but anyway, in the pin, it talks about the correct direction to paint the panels first, and then um, I believe you go horizontal, and then the you know the vertical sort of sections of the door are last. Um, and I think that I think I did a really good job because of those instructions. So I really recommend um, if this is a project in your future to pin that one. Cool. So Alice and I are making mummies out of craft sticks today. We were at the craft store the other day and she wanted to pick out a pair, uh, like a little package of these eyes. So I tried to come up with a project we could use them for. She's really into Halloween stuff, so this is what we're doing. So these are just craft sticks that she is putting glue on each side and then I have been working on doing the wrapping. This is just some... Oh, she's working on it now. Go ahead, Alice. I've got some bits of yarn and ribbon and stuff. You can use um, tissue paper. And then we'll just glue on a couple of little eyes on one end. Sort of like underneath the bandages. And then it'll be little mummy guys. Hmm. Well, Alice tired of this project. She is ready for dinner, but here are our little mummies. Um, this is actually a really cool thing for toddlers because I think the messier and kind of like more irregular they are, the better they look. Um, we tried doing it without the these kind of eyes, the wiggly eyes, and I don't think it's very cute. Um, I also don't really like the ribbon as much as like a rougher yarn, like a bulkier yarn. I think that looks really cute. But there you go.